Hello world, D.B. Sinclair here with more Battleborn, and today we're bringing you Shane and Aurox. I'm here with Randy Varnell, the creative director of Gearbox Software. Hey guys, really great to be with you, and we're looking again at some of the weirder and wilder Battleborn uh, as we uh, our last few reveals. Uh, Shane and Aurox really is two characters in one. Two for the price of one, and we've got three players here in cooperative play for the price of one, I suppose. Um, <laughs> it is worth noting that uh, this mission here, the story campaign cooperative mission, could be played up to five players. You can also take up to five players in a 5v5 multiplayer action when Battleborn drops on shelves in the future. But until then, right now we're showing off this three-player cooperative. Uh, and speaking of cooperative play, we brought the co-op here with support and heals from Miko and Reyna. Goodbye. Right, now Shane and Orox, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna lead, uh, you guys are really gonna help me out here. Shane and Orox is kind of an advanced uh, a, a combo type play. Again, has a, a two characters, the little girl Shane uh, and her, her uh, space rock monster Orox who sits around her, uh, hovers around. Now, it's kind of a, this interesting dynamic where Shane can go stealthy. Uh, Shane has a couple of attacks. One of is if Orox is with her, she can go in and just do great melee strikes. You can see Orox's hands there kind of with her. Shane also has a boomerang, her left trigger attack, that can go out and do a kind of a good ranged attack on characters. So a really good kind of combo move of going in and doing that. It, it has a lot of a, kind of a versatility in that. Now, some cool things that Shane and Orox can do is uh, use a couple of different abilities. Like one, you got the ability to go stealth, which is going to create a stealth field. I can move around, and when Orox comes down after five seconds, it's going to do a lot of damage and stun enemies around me, which really lets me get in a good position and then line up a big group hit. Uh, the other thing that uh, Shane and Orox can do, I'm going to run in here and do it over here with these, is similar to Galt. Uh, they have a uh, Shane and Orox have a fetch ability. So if I go in through here, take out these first couple of characters that are, that are running up on me, uh, we're going to have a problem with that brood up on top. And what I'm going to do is Shane is going to command Orox to go and grab this guy and bring it up to him. Oh, I missed the grab. He ran out of the way. Woo! So good, good job, Reyna. Reyna actually is uh, kind of the mentor for Shane and Orox in the, the, in the lore. Uh, glad you're playing with me. You're keeping me alive, teaching me about combat. Let's see if I can get the, the, the skill pull on this one. I'm gonna bring that brute right up to me and then smack it down with melee close up. Uh, in fact, if we're getting a little trouble, I'm just gonna turn invisible here. You guys pound him for a second, then the Orox is gonna land and finish him off real quick there. Nice. Awesome. Good combo move for Shane and Orox. So we've got one more brute down here. Again, I'm gonna go in here and stealth. Uh, let Orox land, do the combo move and then finish them off some good melee strikes, you guys will hit him in the back. So good job. Yeah, so not only are we bringing the heals and the shields to Shane and Oryx here, which is gonna allow Shane and Oryx to get in and get nice and uh, dirty up close with the enemy uh, spawns here, but also uh, I'm setting that priority target, which is gonna help you uh, deal extra damage to those. That's really great, it's really helpful because it just builds on the combos that I'm already doing. Now, I'm gonna try to really maximize in my build here with Shane and Aurox. I'm gonna try to maximize that, um, that Aurox coming down and doing damage to enemies. So I'm really gonna, gonna put more points into Stealth Strike, uh, keeping them uh, doing just additional damage in and out of, of Stealth Strike there. Uh, I'm gonna bounce the boomerang around and let me do some more, some additional melee damage. Here I'm going, I'm setting up the stealth strike, they're taking damage, and Orox coming in for a big massive hit there in the end. Boomerang a couple of guys, nice critical land on here, him there. Now remember, we're gonna have a problem with these beast masters up top, and we're gonna wanna take the beast masters and brute, brutes out pretty quick. So I'm gonna come, uh, I'm gonna grab him off that bridge, bring him closer, and then smack him down. Stealth strike here. He can't damage me while I'm doing that. Here it comes. Bam! Big hit on him and take him out really quickly. You guys are doing a good job of keeping me healed while I'm kind of going in, in close, setting up those kind of area effect damage using uh, Orox's melee here just to, to, to plow through these guys. Oh, help. That Thrall Brute is a problem. I'm gonna pull him out over here. I'm gonna group up all these guys 
And then again, stealth strike on a group of Thrall right here. If you can, kind of let's try to pull them up together so we can hit several at once. All right, got a good hit on him. Taking out the brute, a little bit of damage, so I'm gonna pull back and just boomerang for a bit. All right, so we went with a very strong composition uh, to support Chan and Oryx's uh, up in your face, always trying to pull someone closer to do that melee damage uh, gameplay. Uh, who else would you like to see on the battlefield with Shane and Oryx? Well, Shane and Oryx is really good at, at taking out groups of small things. If I can get like a lot of these thrall in here, like here, I can drop down this big ability. Oryx is going to come crashing down, he'll finish off this one. You guys have done a good job mixing it up. But they do there's really good with like single target snipers, like bringing in a Marquis or an Isaac or a Toby uh, to kind of deal the with the big guys. Um, you, you know, you know probably wouldn't want to bring a, a Gaunt would be a little bit more challenging because you're going to fight for the pulls and bring them in together. So you know, making, mixing up some additional ranged in, in with uh, the healing composition you've got would be really effective for that. Okay. I'm going to see if I can go in and, and do a, again stealth strike on this whole group of thralls right here. Um, Gonna hit him, knock him up. You guys can help finish him off as we're uh, we're in on this, and then I'll pull back. I'm gonna use the boomerang for a second while I'm waiting on some of my skills to recharge. I'm gonna pull one of this, these thralls. I got stuck on the box there. I was trying to pull him out and get him out away from the other thralls. He's range damage and clean up. Let's see if we can get a, a, a healing orb out of the chest here. Oh, this is a perfect group right here. These little thralls. Here in on the stealth strike, they can't hit me, they can't hit me, gonna keep them grouped up, and bam! A big crushing Aurochs blows to the end of them. I lose my boomerang, oh, missed the boomerang shot. All right. Now, you, you mentioned uh, some range characters, so I, I think, uh, I, I, and we were talking about this a bit before, I really like playing Montana, my newfound uh, love <laughs> on the range front. Um, so that would definitely be a good fit. Uh, any of the other support characters that you'd like to see with Chain and Orx? Well, if you're really at fighting, you really want to maximize like area effect damage. You know, Ombra's always a really good choice for a support character that, that okay. can heal. Uh, she can drop those Sun Spheres down, add some area effect damage around around you. Uh, it's going to be survivable. Uh, you know, you put it right down next to uh, Shane and Orox when I'm trying to do that stealth strike. Uh, it will heal me, but also when the enemies run over, remember you can aug it up so that her sun spears do a lot more uh, damage too. Green has got up close for us, combo that. Oh, you guys are taking it, so I'm not even going to burn the stealth strike on this. <laughs> All right, one more. I'm going to go in with my stealth strike. Now you heard Orox cry out there. What's really interesting about Shane and Orox, uh, Shane has a shield, but Orox is the shield. So when Shane's shields are depleted, oh. uh, Orox actually goes away. In fact, while I've got some shards here, I'm actually going to activate some gear that are going to increase my maximum shield strength. Uh, two pieces of gear that are going to do that here, uh, which is going to actually make Orox more survivable as Shane and Orox play together. Oh wow! So okay. it actually works pretty well. I can almost treat Orox like my pet. Not quite a true pet class, but gives you a lot of that idea to use Orox as that pet when I send it out to, to, to get enemies or just want a little bit more survivability with the shield. Uh, ways to combo them together. All right, very cool. All right, here we are. All right, Warlord Nyx. Again, we're going to try to group up thralls together, uh, and we're going to try to move them there so I can use my stealth strike to really uh, give a, 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 a big group damage to everybody together. So. When you guys see me go in that stealth mode, you'll see that yep. telltale kind of uh, orange circle on the ground. Try to lead the other uh, thrall, group them up around me. In fact, here I go. I'm gonna I'm gonna do stealth strike now. Once early in the match, bring everybody together. Everybody together. Oh, they're running to you. Oh, you're pulling them back, Reyna. That's okay. We got a couple of them. Got that one down. Um, let's see. Let me try grab. Oh, I don't want him up on that box. Oh, Orox got him. <laughs> He's too big for us. So the bosses have a lot of resistance to grabs and stuns. So I need to remember that Warlock, Warlord Nyx is not going to let me grab them. But I am going to pull off the ultimate, which is uh, which is tag team. I'm going to send Orox to fight Warlord Nyx. It's actually going to put me in an, uh, a mode. Uh, we're going to group up here. Oh, he jumped out of the way. There's a lot of area effect damage, but, but Warlord Nyx moved out of that. 
Again, I'm going to do a stealth strike. I'll pull down some damage on Nyx. Uh, here he goes, taking damage, and then Orox. And then I'm going to sit behind him. You guys are doing a good job of keeping his attention. So that's the, the side. one thing to keep in uh, note with Shane and Orox in it. It sounds like maybe more so than some of the other characters is that uh, we really need to coordinate our gameplay to get the most effective use uh, out of all of our abilities in unison here. Yeah, that's right. With the with the uh, with the build that I've got going, I'm really trying to use the the, the, the stealth attack there. Uh, really want enemies that are grouped up in tight clusters, so that when that Orox comes crashing down, it takes five seconds from the time I initiated to the time the Orox comes crashing down. So you definitely want to be sure that we we maximize that. Sometimes it's a long time to keep enemies grouped up. We're starting to get it together. Miko there helping with uh, the healing radius down is really good. I'm going to send, uh, I can't pull Warlord Nick, but every time I use that attack, it does a big chunk of damage off of him. Here goes one last stealth strike to see if we, we can let Orox finish up here. Bam! Finishes him off with a couple of melee hits, and there we go. Yeah, so five seconds is just about the time it takes me um, to put that photonic ward on, right? So that's also, you said, the time it takes about to come down and hit that strike. So I, I think that that's one of those key moments where you want to you time that together and make it so you, you're potentially doing the uh, most damage possible. Exactly right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Shane and Orox. Thank you so much, Randy Varnell, for hanging out and showing us how it's done. If you enjoy Enjoy the video. Up, you can check bros? more out at Battleborn Game on YouTube, at Battleborn on Twitter. If you want to find me on Twitter, you can at Poon Trank Dome. And Randy Varnell, where can we find you? You can find me on Twitter at Jithri, J Y T H R I. I'm there. I'd love to chat about Battleborn. Also, Gearbox Software on Twitter. Lots of new news about uh, Battleborn coming up uh, in the coming months. Thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you next time on the next Battleborn vid.